Welcome back! Little People Big World – Major Drama Over the first two episodes of this reality show's new season, viewers have witnessed the near deterioration of Matt and Amy Roloff's relationship. Yes, the couple split back in 2015 after 27 years of marriage and four children, but they remained on mostly very amicable terms for years afterward. They attended family events together, they ran the family farm in Oregon together, and of course they co-starred on the aforementioned TLC program as its two main characters. All has mostly appeared well between the former spouses. Last year, however, tension started to mount. It started when Amy accused Matt of cheating on her with current girlfriend Karen Chandler, if not physically, then at the very least emotionally. The crux of the strain on this relationship, though, has been the farm cited earlier. Amy hasn't been sure about whether or not she wants to sell her ownership in it to Matt. And Matt has grown visibly frustrated over his ex-wife's ongoing hesitation. On the season 21 premiere of Little People Big World on September 29th, Matt pressed the issue. There's no pumpkin business without the land, and there's no land without the pumpkin business, he told Amy. After telling his ex that this potential sale would get rid of any memory of 20 years ago, she understandably got emotional. We know how things have turned out between the stars. Amy has moved to a new house, and Matt is planning to build a new residence on the farm. But Matt felt that Amy was taking too long to make her decision on the new season. He decided not to live in limbo and turned down Amy's counteroffer on air. Their son Zach voiced his concerns about the situation, yet concluded that he and his twin brother Jeremy don't have time to deal with their parents' drama. Tens of the series, however, have plenty of time to do so. These long-time viewers have been flooding social media with their takes, taking sides in the farm-related debate and in how Matt and Amy are handling it. Matt is right, Amy's engaged and chose to move off the farm and these joint assets need to be divided or sold and dealt with, one fan remarked in the wake of the premiere. I'm team Matt, move on Amy please, another echoed. Others meanwhile empathized with Amy, emphasizing that you can't put a price or timeline on such an emotional decision. To wit, Amy put many years into that farm and raising the kids, just as much as you. Raising kids is a full-time job and many hours of work. You need to back off and give her the time she needs to make a decision when she is ready. It's not all about you. I don't care if you have to wait. She deserves to be 100% comfortable with her decision and have all the time she needs. However, in the end, a majority of commenters just want the access to enjoy a sense of peace and of closure, no matter how or when that comes. For example, I love both you guys, but if you have been separated since 2014 and this is 2020, I get your frustration. This is a long time to drag something out. I think you both will feel better once everything is 100% done. If it's any comfort, this whole beef may be a tad bit exaggerated for effect. In April of this year, Matt said Little People Big World wasn't exactly fake, but it was edited for maximum suspense. We were just trying to make television, he said of a fight he had with Amy on an episode in 2019, adding that producers do try to create drama and saying, We know that those are the kinds of arguments back and forth that create interest and people like to hear. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.